In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this topographic map animation. Let's go. So this animation was inspired by another Vox video. You can check that out. There's a link in the description below to that video. Before we start, you're also gonna need one of these, a topographic or a contour map. Now you can source these online, you can find free ones, but to get mine, I sourced it from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. And the reason is that they have hundreds of these different maps just ready to go. And they've got lots of different designs. So you could make one yourself using a series of masks, but Envato Elements just basically already has them. Now, once you've found the map that you want, you can just download it using their unlimited download subscription. I've personally been using Envato Elements now for the past year. And when I'm working on a new project, instead of recreating all of this stuff from scratch, I can simply just go on there and download any number of these. Plus their subscription also gives me access to all of these things up here. You can also try them out for yourself, but even better is Envato Elements is offering you a 50% discount if you sign up to their annual subscription. And you can check that out via the link in the description below. So I've imported my map here into a new composition. That composition size can be whatever you like. Basically all I've done is just drawn a mask around my map. That's in order just to fit it to my composition. The other thing I'm going to do is also just create a solid back. Background. This can be the same color as that map. Now the next part is I wanna create the little trail that goes over and I want it to animate. So what I'm gonna do is select my pen tool. I wanna to make sure I've got nothing selected. Then I'm gonna come up to fill. I wanna make sure that there's no fill selected. And here I can select my stroke color. I'm using this sort of color here. I can drag up the stroke width. You can always change this later. And then it's just a matter of basically trying to draw out a little sort of path of where you want your trail to go. Now down here is where we're gonna actually animate that path. I can come down to the stroke settings and I'm just gonna add dashes by clicking this little button. And then I can set the number of dashes that I want. Also just gonna turn off the mask so we can see what we're doing. Now you can create an animation for the offset and that's how you're gonna create that little, what they call like an ant trail. Now to animate it on and off, I'm going to use the trim paths. That's gonna create a new section here and I can basically just create a keyframe at the start and then just drag this across to 100. And what that does is create that animation going over the top. Now also if your map is a little bit too prominent. Maybe I wanna make that a little bit more transparent. Just hit T on my keyboard, drag down the opacity. That's gonna make that back map less or more prominent. So something maybe around that. Now the next part of this is we wanna create those little circles that pop up with the text. So what I can do for that is I'm gonna come up to my ellipse tool. You can select your ellipse tool by holding that. Then I'm also gonna create a solid. Now this color can be whatever you like. And I also wanna make sure that there's no stroke. Now what I'm going to do is also just hold shift while I'm drawing this out and it's gonna create a circle here that can be basically as big as you like, but that's what I'm doing here. And then I can come down and create a little animation for the size of that ellipse. So maybe drag this down to zero and that creates a little animation. If I also make this easy ease and come into my graph settings, I can also just animate this up and that's gonna give it a bit more of a smooth you know, animation on and off. Now also, if you're interested in learning more about this process of how I animate and make these things look really smooth, then mastering the graph editor is a really big part of that. Now I have a course called Animation Master, which I'll also link down in the description below. And that's gonna walk you through from start to finish of how to create animations inside of After Effects. I go through the graph editor and I walk you through from an absolute beginner's standpoint. So I'm gonna show you how to use After Effects right through to then creating lots of different types of animations. So if you're interested in learning animation, then you can check out my Animation Master course via the link in the description below. Now, what I'm also going to do is hit T on the keyboard, drag down the opacity for that. I'm just gonna position this somewhere, maybe about there. And now I want to basically kind of line this up so that when the trail goes past, I wanted it to sort of animate on. What I'm gonna do is also come up here and create some new text. And I'm gonna make the top text just a little bit more bold and then you know leave this as semi-bold down the bottom. And I can just position this over my 
little circle like this. The other thing I wanna do is animate this on. So I'm gonna line my playhead up here and I'm just gonna add the typewriter effect to that. If I hit U, I can bring up those animation keyframes, drag them closer together, also make them easy ease and that's gonna create that little animation. So what I did back here in my original composition was I added a bit of a three-dimensional look to it. So I did this by stacking them in 3D space. So to do that, what you can do is create, or we'll make these all 3D, not the very background color because we don't want that to move. I'm just gonna right click and create a new camera. This can be whatever you like, but I'm just gonna set mine to 35 mil. And then what I can do is with these two layers is I can just drag them very slightly forward and reposition them here. Now, if I need to see what I'm doing, I can hit C on my keyboard to cycle through my camera controls and move this on the side so I can see where they are in a three dimensional space. And I'm kind of layering them at different levels here. So again, I can check that and see that they're all kind of in a different space. And it just kind of gives it that interesting sort of three-dimensional look. I'm just gonna reset my camera here. And once I've got one, then it's just a matter of basically duplicating this until you have a couple lined up here. So for this one, what I've done is just duplicated those. I've moved them back in groups. And then I've also just changed the color of those dots by coming up here and changing the color so they can be whatever you like renamed the different text here on screen. So now I'm ready to start creating an animation over the top. Now to animate this, what I can do is come into the uh, transform properties, create a point of interest and a position keyframe. I'm going to move forward into my map very slightly. And then towards the end, I wanna basically create a bit of a three dimensional sort of movement here, maybe move this in. Also take all of these, make them easy ease. And if I come into my graph editor here, I can also just give them a little bit of a smooth keyframe in and out. So that's gonna create something that's a little bit smoother in that animation. So hopefully you've picked up something in this video. Now, if you like this video, I can give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, then you might consider subscribing to this channel. You can also check out more content over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.